Buchanan Street was one of several termini serving the city of Glasgow. This was the point where the Aberdeen Expresses originated. The 1730 to Aberdeen departs. A Dundee train leaves behind the standard five. These scenes were taken on the 15th of June, 1966. Later during this year, on the 7th of November, 1966, this rather run-down four-platform terminus was to close. Traffic for Aberdeen left the Edinburgh line, just south of Larbert. Stirling was a major stop for the Aberdeen Expresses. It was also an important junction, with branches running east to Dunfermline and west into the Highlands. At this time, a handful of Royal Scots were allocated to Carlisle, and these occasionally ran as far north as Stirling and Perth on freight. Twenty-four years after these scenes were taken, Stirling still retains its semaphores, while the station itself has changed relatively little. In fact, this remains the only large Scottish station to possess mechanical signalling. from Aberdeen to Dundee still retains much of the atmosphere of the steam age. This delightful line possesses some fine locations and several steep grades. There are two summits, one here at Carmont and another just to the south of Aberdeen. Montrose was once the centre of a number of lines. As such, it had a particularly busy yard.
Many of these veteran J-37s survived as late as 1966, based at Grangemouth, Thornton, Dundee and Dunfermline. This particular example, number 64547, was based at Dundee. These were some of the last pre-grouping engines on British Railways. A number of these Peppercorn Pacifics were based in Scotland. Class A2 Blue Peter was transferred to Dundee in June 1961 and remained there until withdrawal late in 1966. In its last months of service, the locomotive operated mostly as a standby engine, in addition to working various reliefs. On this occasion, she's working a Montrose to Dundee relief. While the A4s were to spend their final years on tightly timed expresses, these powerful Pacifics were to see relatively menial duties. Ferry Hill Shed was situated alongside the junction for the line to Ballaton. Late in 1965, six out of the eight remaining A4s were based here. This WD280 is a visitor being allocated at Thornton Shed. Eight of the V2s were based at Ferry Hill by the autumn of 1965. This example was to be withdrawn in August 1966. A3-60052, Prince Palatine, shunts at Aberdeen after arriving on an enthusiast special. This was one of the last A3s in service, being withdrawn in January 1966 from St. Margaret's Shed. Aberdeen station possessed at this time a fine array of semaphores. From Aberdeen to Stonehaven, the line closely follows the coast and provided some fine locations during the last months of steam. The summer of 1966 was to be the last for these Gressley Pacifics.
with just three diagrams remaining in operation. Soon after these scenes were taken, on the 3rd of September, the two surviving A4s were to be withdrawn. Thereafter, only A4s on steam specials were to be seen in Scotland. the six A4s to survive into preservation, 6009 is the most closely associated with Scotland. Over the weekend of the 4th and 5th of May 1990, she would make an out and back run to Aberdeen from Edinburgh. 6009 was withdrawn from service on this route on the 1st of June 1966 and was stored at Thornton Shed before preservation. Interestingly, she was to operate a final special over this route on the 25th of March, 1967. She's seen here on the 1N102 climb away from Aberdeen. Soon she'll reach the summit near Cove Bay. has also seen the centenary of the fourth bridge. 6009 has made a number of runs over the structure to mark this event. Interestingly, an A4 diagram survived on the East Coast Main Line to Edinburgh right into the summer of 1966. At this time, a return Aberdeen to Edinburgh train remained steamwalking. 